All right, coming up next, it's a UFC middleweight division fight. Our tale of the tape for this much-anticipated middleweight encounter. So a more than five-year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age, with some differences in height, but big differences in reach. There you go, first round, you ready? You ready? Let's well, it seems go. like this is an annual stop for the MMA leader as we are back and now underway with live action from United Center in the Windy City, Chicago, Illinois. All right, round one is underway. As many of you know, this fighter lost his last fight by TKO. Still, though, there's no shaking this man's confidence. You talk to him during fight week, he carries with him the confidence of a fighter who has won his last 10 fights. So certainly, that could be a feather in his cap here tonight. His corner men, particularly his chief corner, as confident as ever that their young contender can regain his momentum and do it quickly here tonight. Well, he got his head snapped back by that straight hand there, and he's shown a vulnerability tonight by leaning right into that punch as he tries to set up his own offense. May want to focus on some defense here moving forward. Nice. Well, some have gotten through, Joe. This shot is blocked. And the side leg kick lands there. 45 seconds to go here in round one. Excellent movement and transitions here on the ground. Staying busy. And he moves into the mount. That was a nice, clean right hand. Half guard. Mount again. And he connects with the punch. Oh, man. Oh, man. What a round. Stop, stop, stop. All right, let's get to round two. All right, so here we go with round two. We'll see if these fighters get after it. You saw at the beginning of round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Entertaining round, don't get me wrong, but we will see here in round two if there's an uptick in the aggression on both sides. Doing a real nice job with these leg kicks, trying to slow his opponent down and largely succeeding. Huge leg kick. We show you the total strikes. They able to work it into the takedown. And there's one leg over. He's almost mounted him here. He's got it. He's mounted him. And full back. Right hand. Trying to spin to the back. Big punch from the top. Got side control. And busy as he looks to improve position here. All right, under three minutes now to go in round two. And again, again he gets the back. He's doing a great job of moving and transitioning here on the ground. Transitions to full guard. Now he's in half guard. Excellent posture here. Oh, there's a good shot from the bottom. Man, that right eye's really starting to swell up, Joe. Caught him with a punch. He's in half guard here. From side control again. And he connects there. He's got a half guard here. He escapes up to his feet, very nice. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. Little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Shot there. Take down attempt late, and it's good. Final seconds. Oh, he found the target there. That'll work. All right, round three coming up next. Third round underway. Now starting off this round, you've got to think that the barrage that he endured in that last round is still affecting him. He's going to want to start this round off and move and avoid taking any damage. Trying to mount. He's got it. Full mounts. Posture.
Archer's up here. Excellent movement on the ground here. Constantly moving, constantly staying busy. He's back to full mount again. Tags him. He's posturing up here. Right punches there. In half guard now. Now he gets the full mount again. That strike will count. He's working from full mount again. He's looking for the mounted Gogo Plata. He's got the leg up. Looks like he's got the Gogo Plata locked in and tight. That choke is deep. Lean forward, pulling on the head. Stunning. And Stunning. Do it. And he really made it look easy. Set it up, close it off, got the choke for the tap. Well, yeah, so the work in the gym pays off here tonight as he gets the win by submission. Gorgeous setup on the choke, and I think even better execution down the stretch. Clearly, it was sunk in deep. His opponent had no choice but to tap or take a nap. In this case, he chose to tap out. Let's get it to Bruce Buffer now. He has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mario Yamasaki is called to stop to this contest at 3 minutes, 25 seconds of round number 3. Declaring the winner by tap out... Well, what a submission win for this oncoming force here tonight. I think he's going to be a problem for a lot of fighters in this division. All right, coming up next, it's a UFC middleweight division fight. Well, the crowd pops as this guy makes the walk to the octagon, and you can see why if you've watched film on him. This is a true mixed martial artist, plus skills in all areas, and figures to be a handful, really, for anybody in this division. Probably comfortable tonight anywhere the fight goes. Truly a well-rounded MMA fighter. You know, we, we, we trot that term out there a lot. This guy fits the bill. This guy is a very well-rounded fighter. He does not mind standing or going to the ground, and this diversity makes him very unpredictable. Our tail of the tape for this middleweight fight. Four years apart, with similar height and some differences in reach. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a Muay Thai kickboxer and jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of nine wins, one loss. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 181 pounds. Scott! Here you go, first round, you ready? You ready? Well, a lot of UFC history has been made within these very walls. Good to have you with us tonight as we get underway from Prudential Center in Newark, New Jersey. All right, here we go with round one of a possible three. And after a big win by submission his last time out, we'll see what he does for an encore here tonight. Huge victory his last time out against a high-level opponent. Now an even higher-ranked opponent stares in front of him. The octagon door is closed. We'll see if he can extend the winning streak under the brightest spotlight of his UFC career. He landed that inside leg kick. Oh, he connects there. All right, so round one is underway. Look for him to try to set up a takedown here, Joe. You know that's his bread and butter. He is a wrestler. He's going to want to get this fight to the canvas quickly, set up the ground game, get the ground and pound going, and take this fight where he's most comfortable. Oh! He's really doing a good job of controlling distance and getting off these shots. The left hook hits home. He missed that kick. 
Oh, hard kick. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. And back up to his feet. And the kick lands. Oh, so an interesting decision there as he decides to stand up and relinquish the dominant position. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes on. Second round, straight ahead. All right, that's the end of the round. You see the cut on his lip, ladies and gentlemen, is only getting worse. Likely gonna need to get stitched up after the fact, and blood in and around the mouth area could upset his breathing pattern. Second round underway. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. He just continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. Oh! Connects with the punch there. That one hurt. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Good punch. Working the inside of that lead leg. Clean punch. Well, as we pull up the numbers there, bottom of your screen, the body strikes really tell the story in this one. That was a big focus for his camp coming in, and he has certainly worked that midsection to great effect here tonight. Exactly. Combinations, and that has served to keep his opponent in this fight. So let's see if he can change up the tempo a little bit with his strikes and try to put together a combination that is more damaging to his opponent. Excellent movement on the ground here. Constantly moving, constantly staying busy. Lands with the left. Hip escape, gets out of the full mount. He transitions to side control. And he's going with the knee of the body here, Joe. And busy as he looks to improve position here. He's doing a great job of moving and transitioning here on the ground. Oh, that flush right hand is true, Joe. Excellent posture here. Oh, lands that punch. And full back. Trying to spin to the back. Oh, man, that cut not in a good place. And it's not getting any better. He's back in half guard now. He lands a big shot from the bottom. And he's on top! That's a good shot from the bottom. He's got it again. Oh, and the horn sounds on round two. Here we go, final round, you ready? You ready? Let's Third go. round underway. Nice. Straight right hand, no good. Wow! In half guard. Big punch from the bottom. In the half guard. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Look at that. Nice. The ground. That's it, he's out. And he's, he's out. gonna do it. Wow. And that is a great sign of an intelligent fighter. Composure. Knew he heard him. And he's taking his time. Yeah, Joe, safe to say he wasn't stalling or looking for a referee stand-up. He was looking to pound his opponent's head through the canvas, and he nearly did so with some of those hammer fists, man. He wasn't trying to score. He was trying to put an exclamation point on a most dominant performance here tonight, and he certainly did that as he ends the fight by knocking. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mario Yamasaki is called to stop to this contest at three minutes, 26 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Scott! So there's the man of the moment, just the way he drew it up here tonight as he gets his hand raised and does so emphatically.
can smell it. Smell it. Karate liquor shot ball. A few shit. Murder rate, murder rate.